Good morning, everybody. It's me, Jolene, and my channel is She's Out There. My husband and I live full time on the road. It has been a minute since I have uploaded a video. Um, there's been a lot going on and then I got behind and then I kept thinking, well, I'm going to catch up. And then I had a few people say, Hey, what have you been up to? We haven't seen a video. So I thought, you know what? I better get everybody caught up. I'm on the road again, actually, but we're stuck in a traffic jam. This really looks cold, but actually it was like 70 degrees. And it's the end of April. When we left Arizona, it was hot. So this was such a welcome relief and so beautiful. We hardly ever pay for campground, but I'm really glad we did this one. It was worth it. This is the Great Snake River in Idaho. It is so huge right here. We're kind of on the Idaho-Nevada border, close to the border, by Bruno and the Bruno Sand Dunes. Not sure if you're familiar with those, but we found this great spot to camp. And it sits down in this little bowl off of these cliffs and it's called Crane Falls Lake. It's just a little intimate lake with not a lot of people here and great camping. And like I said, the camping is free. Kind of steep getting out of here, but Buzz needs snacks. He's headed to the store. Come on. Hey. 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 I try to walk with the dogs twice a day, like in the morning um, before it gets hot and then in the evening right before we go to go in for the night. 
if I don't, they get rowdy and start kicking each other's asses, so. We were in, in uh, Arizona and we were getting packed up and ready to start heading north. And we were in the Connex, you know, getting stuff ready and Sherman was just sitting in there staring at the back wall and I thought, how weird is that? You know, he really, he's never done that before. And so I kind of just said his name. I said, Sherman. And he slowly turned his head and looked at me and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with him. And I was looking at him and my husband come over and was looking at him and he goes, I think he's been bit by a snake. There really is no way for me to express how much that dog means to me. I got him as a puppy and we have never spent a day apart. Anyway, I grabbed some Benadryl, gave him a couple of tablespoons, and my husband called around, found a vet that had some anti-venom, and we rushed him off. The vet took him back and put him on IVs and gave him the anti-venom and, and said they're going to keep him overnight, but evidently he did really good. The anti-venom worked really well. That was one of the worst experiences of my life. Thank you to my Father in Heaven and all and everybody's prayers.